Hello everyone, my name is Quinn Damrell. I'm the developer of Bacon It for Windows Phone, which is a full-featured Reddit client for Windows Phone. And I thought I'd uh, take a few minutes real quick and just show you some features of Bacon It 1.6. So, 1.6 is live on the market right now, and you can download it on the Windows Phone market. Um, just search Bacon It. So, you'll see these start. These five live tiles are Bacon It. This is the main application tile, these three are pinned subreddits, and this is a pinned story. So. One of the cool things about Bacon is these images are actually drawn dynamically from the live t from the subreddits themselves. So as you browse throughout the day, it will update these live tiles and always give you these nice images here on your start screen. You can also see it's showing a lot of information. Um, for example, this one's showing link and comment karma along with messages. So Bacon updates about every half hour, and if you have new messages, it will put a little badge up there like that and give you a little toast notification up top and stuff. And these will update every night, showing you a new story for the subreddits, the latest story. And for the um, this pin story here, which is like comments, which I'll show you a little later, this will show you the newest, um, how many points it has, how many comments it has, and if it has new comments that you haven't viewed yet, it will put a little badge up top saying you have new comments. Now, these and a ton of other features are um, customizable in the settings. If you have the app, I highly recommend you go in the settings and look around. There's all kinds of settings. Um, making these not dynamic, so they're just a static image. There's like five images you could choose from. Um, you could do anything you want pretty much in there. Just go in and explore. You could t do not disturb options on the updating, all kinds of stuff. So, hopefully this camera works out. Um, it's kind of a odd setup, but I'm trying to make the best of what I have. So um, you can see this is a subreddit list. It supports like favoriting, so you can click these and they jump up to the top and down. Submit a link in your inbox. Um, some other things we'll explore a little later. I'll try to get through this quickly. So we'll open up uh, wallpapers here real quick. And you'll see, um, so here you can see you can upvote and downvote directly from in the app. It's refreshing right now. You get thumbnails, the name, the image, who did it. You can swipe over to new, and you can look at the new ones. Um, you see it's updating. This supports endless scrolling, so it's actually still updating right now. But you see this little scroll bar that pops up. As we scroll down, you know, as you're browsing through, I'm browsing kind of quickly, I'll get to the bottom. So I'll stop, start doing it. But you'll see, if you watch that scroll bar, if you're just kind of browsing through, or looking through, you know, skimming through, you can actually do even pretty quick. Um, oops, we caught an update there, so it was slightly messed up. But you can see it's larger now because it just updated. Well, now you can see it jumped up. So as I'm just kind of scrolling through here, it's pulling more and more stories. So you can literally browse Reddit pretty quickly and never really get to the bottom of this list because um, it keeps updating. So we'll go back up to the top here, and I'll share the web view real quick. So if you click the icon kind of off. You can see this is the web viewers, so like this is just the standard web page. Um, it would be a, you know, a web page if it wasn't a picture. Um, you can save, upvote, downvote, or open the comments. There's a whole bunch of other options. You can click the top and it'll give you the full title so you can get the context of what you're looking at, which is nice. Um, we'll go back here to this guy, and then if we click this gray part or the blue part, it brings us to the comments. So this is the comment view. This is the story title. You can see your story action, comment, um, some things you can do. You can comment on stories, you can comment on comments. Um, this is the comments view, so you have this. It will scroll if it's a larger comment. I'll show you a little later. But uh, it's fully formatted, italics, bold, um, lists, links. Links open up out of app. You can upvote, you can downvote, um, you can share, you can comment on comments. From here you can also save, upvote, downvote, pin, um, some other options. I'll go through these a little later. Um, so we'll back out of this guy now, and let's look at the live tiles, so I'll show you. So obviously the live tiles, we were just in wallpapers. This will open you right back up to wallpapers, so you can instantly jump in there, look at them, you know, look around, do whatever you want. And then this is an example of a story. So this one actually has self-text, this story. Um, so you can see here's the title, you can comment stuff. Um, self-text, scrollable box, you can also scroll the comments while you look at it. So if you're like, oh, I forgot something, let's look up here. Oh, okay. You can actually also scroll this while it's closed. It's kind of hard to do, though, but um, if you want to. So something you can do with comments are you can double-click them, and they'll collapse. So, so hit them so you can you know, go down here and collapse all these comments so it's easier to view. And then you click that, and it reopens. Um, so let me show you real quick. I'm going to just comment on this. Well, first I'll upvote it, or here's an example of... Um, a longer text in here. If I find one, here this one has a link in it. So you see that link, if I click this, it'll open up directly to an image or link in IE. Um, of course, uh, Bacon It's fully Mango compatible, so you can, uh, you know, quick app switch, uh, do whatever you want in and out. Um, 
So let's make a comment real quick. Got a little jumpy. So we'll say hi. And submit that. You can see it instantly submits it, and it's there now. So then since I made this, I can edit and delete it. This is new 1.6. Um, you can edit it as you, you know, just edit and then delete, which is obviously what I'm going to do. So you can also do this with posts. So if I posted this, there would be an option here to edit or delete this post. So we'll come out of the pin story. Um, we'll go back into the main app now. Um, so another cool feature is submit a link. So you can submit a link to Reddit, um, any subreddit you subscribe to with a title. Uh, a cool feature of 1.6 is if you type in here, you see you have this formatted preview. So if I type the Reddit notation for bold, which is two asterisks and then the text, you can see it's bold. So it gives you a real-time preview of what you're going to post so you can see you know, what exactly it's going to look like. You can pick any subreddit you want. Um, and post it. Uh, when it posts it, it takes you to the story, the comments, so you can pin it or whatnot. Um, another cool thing, you could look at formatting help. Um, you can post images directly. So if I select this, I can either take a picture or select a picture. And I can, if I select a picture, it will upload the picture to Imager, grab the URL from Imager, post, put it in the here, and then automatically post that to, to Reddit. So you can post images with one click, and it's a pretty easy process. So. We'll open a message inbox here real quick. You can see I have a new message. It's myself sending me a message. Um, these open here. You can open this, and so this is kind of long. Um, if I have one that's a comment reply, I can look at the comment in the story, so get the context on it, and it highlights it and scrolls to it. That's what that is. Um, we'll go back here. Um, there's a whole bunch, as I was saying, there's a whole bunch of features. This is the account manager, uh, subreddit manager, I mean, so you can manage your subreddits. Um, you can search for new subreddits, so like here's test. Once again, I'm going through this super quick. Um, so if I want to subscribe to, I don't know, awesome. If I click this, it subscribes to my account, so my Reddit account, or if I click this, it subscribes locally. So it's only on this application, on this phone, that it will actually have the subreddit. But it's still there. So here you can see awesome, and it has local. So if I want to unsubscribe, I just click it. Or if I want to put it my account, I can click that. I actually don't want it either, so I'm going to take it off. And then this list, this list on the main screen will update when you update those um, subreddits. Another cool feature is the smart bar, which is new as a 1.5. So from here, you can instantly go to any subreddit URL. So I type test here. It's really hard to read. But and the options are slash r slash test or search test. So I'm going to hit search test. And for some reason, we failed the connect to Reddit. So let's try that again. Uh, it looks like search might be down or some problem. Normally, it would load the subreddit, so you can see there's a slash test, so it did that. And it also returns search results here for Reddit, where you can click on it to open up the link. So if I click this, you can jump instantly into any subreddit. Or you can do it by typing here. So when I first get into this, I can type test and click it, and it instantly goes into it. Um, you can also post any link. So if you have a link, if someone like IMs you a link of a story with comments, you can post an entire URL in here, and it will automatically either open the subreddit or the comments um, for that for that um, thing you got sent. So I'm gonna put this up real quick. You can pause the video if you want to read that. If you can, it tells you what it could do a little bit. It's a little better scribing than I am. Um, so that's pretty much it. I want to make this quick. Um, like like I said, there's a whole bunch of more options I didn't even go through. If you want real quick, I'll scroll through these as I end up talking here, and you can read them. Um, like these are the live tile settings. These are all the options. Here's updating options, um, and then here's the about page. So um, I'll post the uh, our Twitter, our Facebook, our subreddit, and the website for baking it on the link to this video. Um, I hope you guys got a good overview of baking it and. Go out and download it. It's on the market now. Thanks.